morning, will you all please stand to greet the graduates? You may be seated. Good morning and welcome to Cleveland Central Middle School 8th grade promotion exercise 1. The program will proceed as printed. Advanced Academics Actualized. You have seen the processional. We will have an invocation by Tierra Williams, Miss CCMS, Travion Stokes, Mr. CCMS, followed by the salutatorian address, Jaden Bryant, Valedictorian address, Isabella Gibbons, and I will return with the awards presentations. Good morning. 
I'm Tierra Williams, and this is Trayvon Stokes, and we're Mr. and Mrs. CCMS. We want to welcome everyone to our eighth grade promotion ceremony. It's been a weird year. There have been a lot of ups and downs, but we've matured. Promotion isn't the final step in our academic careers. It's just the next step. In two months, we're off to high school, which is going to be challenging, but it's also going to prepare us for what's to come. On my behalf of our classmates, we want to thank the teachers, family, and coaches who have been there for us and helped us make it this far. Thank you for helping us grow. We couldn't have done it without you. Buy your hair for modern prayer. Our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that fall behind us. And in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good morning, class of 2021. We passed middle school. That was a short two years. Um, now, I didn't come here today to give a church sermon, but I want to reflect on the lessons we learned here, like persistence. This year has definitely been challenging for all of us. We're choosing between virtual and in-person school, we're juggling our education during the pandemic. We have all shown persistence and determination throughout the school year. Even in these last weeks when everybody wanted to drop out of school and start an early summer vacation, we stuck with it because the habits we form now determine our future. Another, le another lesson we've all certainly learned is team spirit. We couldn't have made it this past year without support from our fellow students, parents, family members, teachers, and other CCMS faculty. I would like to thank in particular my favorite teachers, they know who they are, for making this year spectacular. Shout out to Rachel for co-writing the speech. Finally, graduation is not the end, it is a new beginning. As we make this transition into high school and, on to, and we move on to bigger and better things, our experiences here will have not, wait, no, no. <laughs> I forgot. Have not been a monolith, but I hope that we all leave here better people than when we came. Congratulations, everyone. Greetings, everyone. Once again, I'd like to warmly welcome all of my peers, educators, administrators, and staff as I partake in this momentous day of promotion for CCMS's 8th grade class of 2020 through 2021. As the class valedictorian of this year, I have the privilege of finally delivering a speech revised and rewritten numerous times in preparation for this day. Initially, I encountered various tribulations while composing it, some of which stem from my lack of experience as a public speaker and my proclivity for procrastination. Undoubtedly, after pouring in sacrifices and stress, I came to this final composition. Now, I'd like to invite everyone to listen and pay attention to my following address. Undeniably, change is perpetual, or in simple terms, it is continu continuously happening. From the minute we move a muscle, or to the minute I prepare to utter another word, we undergo change. As well, we apply the concept of change to practically every aspect of our life. When we learn something new in school, our perception of knowledge shifts, or even now, the stay of promotion for the forthcoming school year is no exception from this discourse. Over the past year and a half, we have encountered significant cases of change. Consequently, some of these instances have progressed to the point where naming them would be unnecessary for me. From a pandemic that will undoubtedly go down in history books, and to the pinnacles of diverse movements that provide a renewed sense of visib visibility to change, each con contributes to the question, what more can we do in the future? Naturally, each of these incidents has separately instilled us with a fresh sensibility of change. Nonetheless, this immense volume of change that we have endured lately has ultimately guided us towards adversity in ourselves. In a sense, this poses another question. What are, we what are we capable of achieving under these dynamic conditions? Altogether, how can we prevail throughout this change with our singularity? Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. As we are all united here presently, I imagine plenty of individuals seated in this room can relate to this proverb. 
As we grow further accustomed to this continual change, we notice the consistency of people that pressurize us into alter and altering the way we are. Oftentimes, this realization arrives at an overdue time, and, you, and we con consequently transform into someone that devoids each of their primary aspects. This masquerade ends up exerting a price on how you behave, feel, or just your overall mental state. You convert to an individual that is constantly equipped with the drive to be someone they are. And even as you wander through society, you begin to dwell in a vicarious style where instead of remaining as yourself, you're living for others. Despite this, there reaches a duration when you start to recognize how all of that lacks significance and you should pay closer attention to who you are. You begin to apprehend how central it is for you to be unchanged by these matters and that your ingenuity and creativity speak volumes. With your singularity, the sole purpose is to persist as yourself and not to gratify others for their exhibitions of solitary alterations on you. That right there is assuredly one of the most exceptional achievements you can acquire. Nevertheless, some people will still proceed to minimize you from their embracement of your individuality. However, no one should be able to influence or change who you are except yourself, regardless of your religion, race, sexual orientation, ethnicity, or gender. Some may mock or deride you for these things, but these characteristics are beyond your control. While others may also have the exact personality or true size as you, there's still at least one thing that distinguishes you from the rest. Your individuality is what defines you, of course, and no one should dictate or tell you otherwise. I, too, am struggling to uphold my sense of the self-identity, but at the same time, the struggle influences how I may reflect upon myself in the future and whether or not I can change to which I propagate for others. To my fellow peers that have surmounted this barricade of societal and normality change, I applaud you. Not only for your prosperity, but also for your steadfast individuality. Thank you. Now we will have presentations of academic awards. We're doing the highest averages. Third highest average in ELA. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest average in STAR ELA, 8th grade, Pack B, Claire Allen. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest average in eighth grade Pack B, Tanika Durden. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest average ELA. Eighth grade, Pack B, Jockwis Cameron. <laughs> Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest start ELA average in Pack B, Jada Bryant. Certificate of Excellence. 
This award is given to for having the second highest star ELA average, Pack B, Isabella Gibbons. Math Awards. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest star math average pack B, Jaden Bryant. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest star math average in eighth grade pack B, Isabella Gibbons. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest average in star math, eighth grade pack B, Sarah Walbeezer. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest math average in eighth grade pack B, Tanika Durden. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to Isabella Gibbons for having the highest star math average, Pack B. History Awards. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest history average in eighth grade, Pack B, Tanika Durden. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest star history average in eighth grade pack B, Jaden Bryant. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest star history average in eighth grade pack B, Isabella Gibbons. Awards. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest star science average in eighth grade pack B, Jaden Bryant. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest star science average in A grade pack B, Isabella Gibbons. <laughs> Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest cyber applications average in A grade pack B, Dawn Flowers.
Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the highest cyber applications average in A grade pack B, Isabella Gibbons. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest PE average in eighth grade, Jordan Turner. This is not her book. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest PE average in eighth grade, Travion Stokes. This award is given to for having the third highest PE average in eighth grade, Kaden Dye. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the second highest average. Spanish one, eighth grade, Jaden Bryant. <laughs> Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to Sarah Wall Beezer for having the second highest Spanish one average in eighth grade. Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to Isabella Gibbons for having the highest Spanish one average in eighth grade. <laughs> Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest band average in eighth grade, Claire Allen. Twenty 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 one eighth grade third highest average help Trinity Brown. Twenty 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 one eighth grade second highest average help to Nico Durden. Twenty 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 one highest average art Isabella Gibbons. <laughs> Certificate of Excellence. This award is given to for having the third highest reading growth achievement progress average in eighth grade, Caitlin Giles. Mr. Whitehead challenged us to create a journalism club. So these awards are for those eight magnificent students that wrote our school newsletter. Certificate of Excellence. Cleveland Central Middle School recognizes for serving on the staff of the journalism club during the 2020-2021 academic year, Jayla Bennett. Certificate of Excellence. Cleveland Central Middle School recognizes for serving on the staff of the Journalism Club during the 2020-2021 academic year, Christian Evans.
Honor recognition. Certificate of recognition, Cleveland Central Middle School recognizes for making the honor roll one time during the 2020-2021 academic school year, Claire Allen. Jaden Banks. Jaden Banks for demonstrating citizenship. Robert Bass for demonstrating citizenship. Javarius Beeman for making honor roll. Madison Beer, honor roll. Amaya Bland, honor roll. LaCorius Branch, honor roll. Channing Brown, honor roll. Trinity Brown, honor roll. Jaden Bryant, honor roll. Jacquez Cameron, honor roll. Javion Carter, honor roll. Daniel Cassell, honor roll. Caitlin Seha, honor roll. Jesse Christensen, honor roll. Nicholas Clayton, honor roll. Jocelyn Cochran, honor roll. Orion Davenport, demonstrating citizenship. Tanika Durbin, honor roll. Asia Duval, honor roll. Dawn Flowers, honor roll. Braxton Forrest, honor roll. Priscilla Garcia, honor roll. Amaya George, honor roll. Isabella Gibbons, honor roll. Jaden Banks, three times on a roll. LaKendra Green, three times on a roll. Cleveland Central Middle School overall student of the year, Isabella Gibbons, 2020-2021. Eighth grade pack B, student of the year, Isabella Gibbons, 2020-2021. And at this time, I will ask Ms. Lucille Holmes, member of the school board, to present the next award. Good morning. Good morning. I just want the graduates to know how good you look to me. Eighth grade school board trustee scholar award. Highest cumulative average goes to Isabella Gibbons. Oh. It's your girl. I ain't have but one. <laughs> oh, certificate of recognition also goes to Isabella Giddings. <laughs> now we will have the presentations of certificates. Would Dr. Bell please join us with Mr. Whitehead? You want me to call the names down? Sure. Okay. All right, good morning. Our first certificate goes out to Claire, or second, goes out to Claire Evans. I'm sorry, Claire Allen. <laughs> Jaden Banks. 
Braden Beeman, Javaris Beeman, Madison Beard, Jayla Bennett, Amaya Bland, Dalen Block, Jeremy Bodie, Janaya Boo, Zanaya Boo, Zamaya Boo, I'm sorry. Olivia Bounds, LaCorris Branch, <laughs> Jose Breville, Shannon Brown, I'm sorry, uh, D'Artagnan Bronner. Chauncey Brown, Trinity Brown, Jaden Bryant, Tyler Bernice, Tyler Bernice, oh, we got two, Tyson, Tyson Bernice. Ella Bird, Jemiah Burnside, Elantra Kane, Kira Caldwell, Jacquez Cameron. Davion Carter, Jalen Casey, Daniel Castle, Caitlin Siha. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Nicholas Clayton, Kendall Cleveland, and Jocelyn Cochran, Kennedy Collins, Madison Connolly, Isabella Contreras, Tiana Craig. Joshua Curve Jr. To Jarvis Davis. Asia Dorsey. Lee Dowdy. Natavia Dunnigan. Tanika Durden. Sammy Dern. Asia Duval, Caden Dye, Shemaya, Shemaya Edwards, Christian Evans, Jacqueline Fairley, Lamaya Farrell, Jamia Fields. Don Flowers. Braxton Forrest. William Fortenberry. Jacamian Foster. 
I got to get this name right. He's been reminding his name all year. Jacoby Fredu. Get his name wrong, all. <laughs> Kiana Fulgrim. Mary Gallion. Justin Gant. Justin Gant. Priscilla Garcia. Shaquilla Gardner. Amaya George. Kaylin Zhao. Isabella, Isabella Givens. Maya Green, Paisley Grisham. Jasmine Guevara. And Juliana Gunn. That concludes the certificates. I'll turn it over to Mr. Whitehead. Congratulations, students. Um, the policies set forth by the Cleveland School District and the guidelines set forth by the Cleveland Central Middle School, uh, you are now certified to promote to the ninth grade. And therefore, thank you. Thank you all for attending. Our next ceremony is at 11. The graduates will be exiting. Thank you. 